guys. Uh, right, uh, Friday night, half past six, just back from the pictures, or the movies, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just been to see Looper, Bruce Willis, and Joseph Gordon Hewitt, Lewitt. Cracking film, really good. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I forgot what I came in the shed for now. The Bliss. Rebuildable Atomizer. Uh, now, uh, just now it's on top of my chameleon. Uh, I did a trade for this with uh, a bloke that I've done a few trades with, Ryan. Uh, he really wanted something that I had and I fancied trying one of these out. So uh, a deal was done and uh, we both walked away very happy. So that was that. Now, the bliss. Where does it come from? Uh, where did that go? I had a business card just sitting here just two minutes ago and it's disappeared. I'm telling you, strange things happen in this shed. How did the it is. <laughs> right, <laughs> sorry. There we go. camera is just it's going in the bin elitevaporworks.com uh, that's where it came from uh, well that's where uh, Mr Wallace bought it from uh, right just looking at the website just now it's $139.95 um, that's in the US but um, for international it works out at where are we yeah if I add it to the cart it then comes out at bum -ba -da -bum -ba -ba. where's my cart gone check out including tax comes to $150.52 uh, then you've got the the old uh, shipping fee on top of that and if you're really unlucky you've also got uh, any import fees on top of that as well so it, it could work out quite an expensive atty by the time it gets to us here uh, but in saying that uh, it's a bloody good device uh, it really is uh, it's, uh, th I think it's 303, yeah, 303 stainless steel, uh, Pyrex tank with uh, a really nice stainless steel cover on it. Uh, it's got a 2mm capacity. Uh, I was quite surprised by that. I thought it was going to be a, you know, hold a lot more, but uh, it's quite a. Well, we'll come back to that why. And it's 20.5mm by 48mm, but uh, you'll get all that information from the website anyway. Um, usual bit next, how does it vape? Well, I have to say that it vapes amazingly well. Um, right now, oh, that's nice. There's a reason for that, right enough. Uh, right now, I have uh, a dual coil set up in there, which isn't exactly pretty because I just did this before I went out to the pictures and uh, I made a bit of a pig's ear of it. But, but just to show you there, uh, and. I mean that really, I've got a wee hot spot at the top there, but it really pumps out the juice, the vapour. Uh, but what I'm going to do is take it off the top of the chameleon just now. Excuse me a second. Like so. And uh, 
we'll show you this setup. Uh, right, first off, uh, I'm going to take the tank cover off. Now, this is the version 2. From my understanding that this version came with just upgraded O-rings and whatnot because the original one was prone to leaking. Uh, this one uh, isn't, it's had everything fixed on it. But, uh, So there it is, you've got, you know, your You can run <laughs> dual wicks uh, or two single wicks like I have set up there just now or just a single wick uh, Threaded here O-ring, O-ring at the bottom 510 connection at the bottom uh, One piece design uh, and it's really, 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 uh, it's really nice. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, oh, focus. Um, pop that down just now. And here is there's your tank cover. Once again, that's stainless steel. threaded at the bottom so that just uh, pops over the top and you just screw it down take the drip tip off of here oh. now as you can see there hopefully get some light in that that is really thick stainless steel there and actually once you've got this on top of the the atomizer itself rebuildable atomizer it's quite a small chamber uh, you have two air holes there and they are tiny wee things. I mean they're only one mil by the looks of it. Yeah they're one mil. Uh, and I don't find it like soaking through a straw or anything like that, you know, the usual kind of affair. It's uh, it's quite a nice well I find it to be quite a nice draw on it. Uh, what I will say, and I'll just screw this back together, just push it on a wee bit just to get it over the O ring and then screw it down pop my drip tip back on pop it back in the chameleon I have to say that that is really really nice it's a especially with the two single wicks set up in there just now it's a really strong vape I mean I'm getting masses of throat hit and lots and lots of flavor I mean it just kicks ass it really does um, this has kind of got a, a matte brushed finish to it I'm going to take it over the polisher and uh, make it shiny shiny stainless steel uh, but I mean I'm a bit of a sucker for this because I mean I loved uh, the katana and it reminds me of the katana just the top tank section there it's got that just that those tank the stainless steel cover in the tank there I just think it's beautiful it is a heavy wee beastie uh, there's no denying it there's actually a list on the uh, vapor wall I think just now they're doing one in titanium uh, of all things uh, so you know like the Cobra so for the size of it although it's heavy just now it's going to be very very light um, taking it off the chameleon just now and I'm going to pop it on the roller 
Now when they come out with the, the flush connection for the roller, I think this is going to be a great combination. Uh, let's see that okay. Uh, it's a bit of a gap there just now, but I would imagine this on top of an 18350 Paps or, you know, once this flush connection sorted out, this is going to be a stunning combination. Uh, it's going to look really nice. Uh, but that's subjective. You know, I think it looks great on the Chameleon, uh, but... Uh, so, all in. Uh, it's a heavy wee beastie. It is, it's, the threading on it is beautiful. I mean, it, this is really, really, in my opinion, put together very, very well. Uh, I've read, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, when it came, there was uh, a lot of people saying they had little pools of uh, machine oil, machining oil in the bottom of them, the, 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 in the bottom of them, and they've had to put them in dishwashers and soak them in vodka and things like that to get rid of the taste. Which is a bit of a... You shouldn't really have to be doing things like that. Uh, hopefully the makers get that kind of stuff sorted out going forward. But uh, all in. Uh, the Bliss. Uh, I think it is a beautiful atomizer. Rebuildable atomizer. It vapes really, really nice. Um, with the dual coil, the, the two wick setup, in my opinion, it vapes it's just like the Hellfire and it reminds me just of the Hellfire uh, because it's got that wow kick in the back of the head <laughs> you know it, uh, and because of that I'm going to take one of the wicks out because it's too much for me uh, if you like a lot of throat hit and you know your atomizer to really <laughs> how can you put it kick you in the back of the head, I mean really give you the ultimate throat hitting flavour and everything and tons of vapour, then you'll love this, uh, especially with a dual coil or the two single coil setup. it really is an exceedingly good vape, uh, but for me it's just too strong that way, so I'm going to take it down to a single, uh, but that's it, that's, that's all I can really tell you, uh, I'll put a link up to the website, well you saw the card, but I'll put it in the description anyway. Uh, you saw the prices, you can buy it in the States, it's made in the US of A, and it's, uh, no, I like it. Thumbs up from me. Uh, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm away in for my dinner. Night guys, cheers.